two friends. As close as brothers. Until war forced them continents apart. My son, the college graduate. You should come home. Forgive me for what I have to tell you. Hassan is dead. A week before he died, he sent you a letter. Now to rescue his friend's son. What happened to the boy? The Taliban took him. He must journey to a land he no longer knows. We need to go back to Kabul. So what brings you back to Afghanistan? I'm going to find a boy. His father meant a lot to me. One of the most beloved stories of our time. Now there is a way to be good again. Becomes one of the most anticipated films of the year. You know what they will do to you if they see you're clean shaving. From the director of Finding Neverland and Monster's Ball. I dream that my son will grow up to be a good person. A free person. I dream that someday you will return to revisit the land of our childhood. I dream that flowers will bloom in the streets again. And kites will fly in the skies. جان اجازه ساخرشم تو مصروف چیستی یک داستان One of the producers, Rebecca, yelled them, send me the book when I was in New York in 2003, right away it came out on, hard, on hardcover. And uh, I read it, and I remember it very well because I was doing the blackout in New York. And I basically read it during the day. And it was uh, just, it, it grabbed me. I said, oh my God, this is a beautiful book, a beautiful story. Well, I was born in Kabul in 1965. Um, my parents were educated uh, professionals. My father was a diplomat. My mother was a high school teacher. So I kind of grew up in an environment like Amir and the Kite Runner. We moved. Hello, I'm Khalid Hosseini. The film you're about to see, The Kite Runner, is based on my book. The film tells a story of two boys, inseparable since birth, whose lives are turned upside down by war, chaos, as well as personal misdeeds. But as much as this film is about family and friendship, it is also a testament to the power of the written word and how it can transform lives. Today, Afghanistan is a country at crossroads. There's extreme poverty and hardship, but there's also hope for the people. Much of that hope rests with the work of non-governmental organizations who are helping with humanitarian aid, education, literacy initiatives, and job training. Please consider supporting the important work of these NGOs. Your help is invaluable in reaching the ultimate goal, that of a secure, stable, and prosperous Afghanistan. run back and forth between the camps, you know, pushing each other, running between the two kite flyers. And which is just explained it in the different languages. When people start making a movie like that, it's not about money or anything. It's really about the commitment of trying. But also at the same time, the whole journey that I've had has been much like most people I think have with the book. I've had a journey of finding things out about Afghanistan and finding things out about, about Amir or more particularly as well the world. 
I wouldn't say not enjoy it, but I was it was so much in so little time and being under budgetary constraints because you're shooting in Dari without stars that it's it's a, it's a very intense kind of experience that I didn't almost didn't have time. Hello, I'm Khalid Hosseini. The film you're about to see